All right, so I mentioned that these are boom arms and masts, right? So they have some structure to them. So what I showed you before, what you're seeing in here, these things are actually, you know, piped. So we're going to add some pipes. Um, so let's go to um, surface freeform. Let's go to pipe. Um, actually, let's go to pipe variable. So now we're not just doing a simple pipe. We're going to do a pipe that has some differences in it. So pipe variable. Um, and sort of in the same vein of like dealing with params and stuff. So we're going to be working with uh, params on this as well. So um, the way that variable pipe works is it asks you for the base curve. That part's easy. Then it asks you for the curve parameters for your radius values, for what the base radius is and what any, any radius is going to be along the length of that curve. Then it's going to ask you for that value in a list. And then what is E exactly? Oh, cap. Sweet. I forgot that I had cap. Um, so this, I mean, it's pretty easy. We're just going to put the um, pipe curve on there. And then we just need to create a list for those parameters. If we have a simple pipe um, along a curve like this, and the, the, the uh, radius is only going to taper evenly from one point to another, like it's going to be wide here and it's going to be thin here, and it's just going to taper down evenly. What two parameters do you think we have to set? Well, our, well what, what I mean is um, this, the radius parameter. So in this case, we're talking about that domain, right? We need to define where the radius is going to be, because in some cases, we might actually have a point here along the length of that curve that we're trying to change the radius to be really thin. In which case, if we wanted to do that, then we'd have to define that radius at that point or parameter along the line. Make sense? So what two parameters do we want if we're trying to make it go from thick to thin at the other end? What parameter, if this is your start point of the line, and this is your end point, yes, zero and one, thank you. Because the start point is going to be zero, the end point is going to be one. So let's go to params. We're going to make a list here. Uh, make sure you turn off multi-line data. Um, we're going to just say zero and one. Then we have our radius. Um, the radius can be done by having two sliders and then um, filtering them in together if you want. So we can do it as um, zero to, I have no idea how thick these things are going to get. Let's just say 2.0. Um, and you can plug that one into R. It's going to give you an error now because it doesn't have the same number of parameters um, as it does radius values. So copy and paste that and then hold shift when you plug this in, and now you've got two. So if the base radius is 0.3 and the top radius is 0.1, then you've created a relatively thick mast at the bottom and then a, a wide mast at the top. Or a, a thin mast, I mean, at the top. Um, and you can, you can set those values to either be like really, you know, really fine and you can really fine tune them. I just threw something on there. So that's one pipe. Um, you can define how it caps if you want. I don't care right now how you set those, but we can actually just pull this across and set another one for this line. And it's going to do that. But make sure that you're careful about the radius that you're using at the base because it's, it needs to sort of be smaller than the width of the, um, that element right there. So, Okay, yeah. so um, that is how you add variable pipe to your mast and boom arms. Um, after we get back from a break, uh, we're going to start looking at how we're going to create point lists for how the um, shades are going to interact with one another. Because now we're creating geometry 
that are spanning between um, different point values as they are listed. Because if we have the same number of masts, right? Let's say, or boom arms, I should say. Let's say this boom's endpoint is number zero, and this one is number one. We have to actually take zero, zero, and tie it to a number one. So that gets pretty challenging. <laughs>